Hey guys, welcome to Pockets Trading and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add your Google API. Now, this is very useful in order for you to be able to search videos and download online. So I'm going to log into my user account. So once you log into your account, the very first thing so once you log into your account, the very first thing you need to do is to head over to connectivity. And once you head over to connectivity, you can see there's a need to enter Google API key. So how do you get this Google API key? So all you need to go is to head over to console.developers.google.com. So just check below this video you are going to see the link there so you can just click on it immediately okay so once it brings you to this page just click here in case you don't have any projects just click on new project to so click on new project give your project a name you can give it anything Click on create. So once you click on create, just ensure that the project you just created is selected. Click on select project. Once you select the project, the name is going to appear here as you can see. So it's time to enable some API for this project. So you click on enable API and you search for the first one is YouTube data api this you click on it you enable it okay so once that is enabled you search for the other one again youtube analytics You see that you click on it, you enable that as well. Click on enable. So you've enabled that as well. So the last one is maps JavaScript. Can you see maps JavaScript API? So can you see that you enable this as well? So these are the three APIs that you need to enable under the projects you just created. So once you're done, just click on this home page to take you to the project home page. Then go to just scroll down to be sure that you have enabled the three APIs. Can you see them? The three are here. So the next thing is to go to credentials. And click on create credentials then you select api key you can see so your api key has been created so you copy this go to your app and paste it there then you click on save you can see it has been saved successfully so if you now go to search video so you can now search anything so let me use this for example me click on search video okay so can you see that so you'll be able to search and download and do whatever you want to do on the app thank you for watching bye